In today's video, I'm going to share with you some universities you should apply to if you are looking for a program in public health, whether a master's or PhD and your focus is on funding. As you can see on the screen, you can see these universities. Don't, don't be, be in a rush to stop watching this video because at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you two tips that will be pivotal in your application. And don't worry, it's not going to be a long video. It's going to be short. So as you can see, I've shared with you nine universities. Some people would already know what to do with this information. For those who don't know what to do with this information, I'm going to use a minute or two to show you what to do. You can screenshot this to get the name of the university. You can write it down. But if you also want me to share this link with you so that you always have access to this link, let me know in the comment section and I'm going to do that. So let's say all you need to do, the people who don't know what to do is, is to pick the name of the university. So I just picked one. I picked Imperial College of London. You go to Google and type the name of the university the program you want to do and scholarship. You can do this for every program to see if the university you want to apply to has a scholarship. So instead of public health, maybe you're interested in civil engineering, just put civil engineering and add scholarship and look at the opportunities the university has before you apply, especially for those who do not have any source of income and you are relying on scholarship to fund your study abroad. So as you could see, it will come up, I'll just pick the first link and you will get all the information you need. All the thing about these scholarships is they are repeated every year. So you could always come back to it whenever, share with your friends. So the deadline is um, 30th April. It's already open, it's a deadline is 30th April. So you could apply for that so as you can see one scholarship i also want to talk about is the daad this is for masters and it's really fully funded you get your flight everything will be covered the good thing is i've already made a comprehensive playlist on what to do taking you from the beginning to the end so what you do is you go to my channel you go to playlist and what you are looking for is the daad so this playlist, you will click on that. And as you can see, this, this is what the scholarship and so tuition, travel, accommodation, health insurance. You can even go with your family. It would show you all the various, and this is not only for public health, but they do have some public health programs. I will take you through how to fill the application form. Like everything you need to do with this scholarship is here. So now without wasting your time, and if you're looking for other scholarships or other resources to study abroad, my channel has everything. So now let's go to the tips I want to share with you. The first thing is, as you can see, there are a number of universities and you'll be tempted to submit the same CV and SOP for all these universities because in all of them, you're applying for public health. This is a rookie mistake. You will end up not even getting admitted to almost all of them. And if you had to pay admission fee, that means you would have wasted your money. It's always important to tailor your CV and SOP. Even though all these schools are offering programs in public health, their focus might be different. So you have to visit the website and look at what the program focuses and tailor your CV and SOP to that. The good thing is I also have a video on how to write a CV and how to create a good CV. I've been seeing some CVs that are really bad. This video will help you to put together a very solid CV for admissions. CVs for admissions and jobs are different. And the CVs you use in your home country is different from these international schools. So it's very important that you tailor your CV. The second thing is don't plagiarize. There's a lot of templates out there. So you might see a template or your friend would have gotten admission to a certain school and you, you take their CV and you submit the same CV that your friend has done and maybe you've changed a few things. This will not help you. 
you might end up not getting admitted, even though you might be a good student because you plagiarize. And one bonus tip is, these schools might require application fee. Before you pay any application fee, always request for an application fee waiver. Send an email to the school if they have an application fee and ask them, is it possible for them to waiver the application fee for you? And to even check if a school has an application fee or not, this is what you do. You copy the name of the university, you go back to Google, you paste it, and this time you add application fee. So this is the application fee, 80 pounds for all MSc applications, excluding those to Imperial College London, um, to business school. So this is it, you know the application fee, some will have, some will not have. You see application fee waiver, which I'm talking about right now. So we can see, if you didn't know, you will not ask and you have to, you might pay for application fee. If you're applying for MSc or MBA course, you may need to pay an application fee. Applicants who are facing financial hardship and cannot pay fee can also apply for an application fee waiver. If your application fee waiver is approved, you'll be able to submit your application without paying application fee. So this is good. This will tell you how you, if you qualify or not. So these are the tips. One, tailor your CV. Three, avoid plagiarism. No, two, avoid plagiarism. Three, Always go ahead and ask for an application fee waiver. The worst you can hear is no. So let me know in the comment section if you know any other universities that people in public health can apply for. Let me also know the next course or program you want me to make a video on with regards to the university. And if you also have any tips for the people who are applying, let me know in the comment section. As usual, I'm rooting for you. I have all the resources you need to be successful in this journey. Just use them and to hear from me again.